Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Templaco TG-1. This is a inch and five eighths router template guide and nut, and here's what it looks like. So this type of equipment is uh, really mandatory when it comes to prepping doors and frames for hardware. When you are using the Templaco you know, series of um, nail-on templates. And so what I'm driving at is whenever you're going to mortise a piece of hardware into a door or a frame, and you're going to use your router and you've got your two-flute router, two-flute carbide half-inch diameter router bit or whatever, you're going to route that. You've got a template that's on the door. Your router has a guide, okay? The diameter of your bit has to fit down through here. The outside diameter of the guide itself is its dimensional properties are directly related to how related to how the template was manufactured. So if I have a two inch wide opening in my template and then I slap this into it and now my guide that is a particular diameter is going to create, based on the bit diameter obviously, a particular size finished prep. So what they're doing is they're building their template based on what is the finished size prep we need. Okay. What guide are we going to use, meaning what's the outside diam uh, diameter, and then they're going to derive the size within the template so that when you put your router in, you're going to route that. That's super important. The bottom line is, if you're using a Templaco template, this is the router guide to use. Um, <clears throat> many, many, many years ago, I went out, bought my router. I'm going to prep a door for a hinge. I've got my nail-on uh, Porter Cable hinge butt template kit, and I got my Porter Cable router, and I routed my hinge had the right depth and it was great. Took the hinge and put it in there and it was far too small. The prep was too small for the for the uh, for the hinge to fit into and I scratched in my head and I says what could this be? Um, it then dawned on me, I don't remember how I came across it, but there's guidance in terms of what guide you must screw into the base of your router and that's true whether it's Porter Cable Hinge Butt Templicate, a Templaco template for doing a lock, sauce and doing sauce hinges if you buy their template. Everyone's template has to have a guide that goes with it, whether it's anyone that you're doing. So that's what this is used for. So it would be normal for you to be looking at this if you have Templaco templates. The outside dimension is 0 0.625. 0 0.625 is the outside dimension. They state that this material is made of brass. The ID 0 0.528, 0 0.528 on the ID. So you will pull your bit out of the router, bring this to the bottom of your base, sneak this in, and then hold that there in your router base as you you know, as you tighten that. Okay, you get that tightened down, and you're as right as rain, and this will work out just perfectly for prepping that material. Information on the back of the uh, Packaging, solid brass. They say 5 8 OD. Yes, 0.625 is exactly 5 8. Guide and nut fits router bases with 1 and 3 16 center opening. So, yeah, you have to make sure of that. And used with all Templaco templates. Fits skill, Porter Cable, Rockwell, Black & Decker, and DeWalt. Um, my personal preference on the tooling, the tool is Porter Cable. I don't know why. It's just I've used it. It's one of those things where you stick with it because you've had luck with it, and Porter Cable has always done that for me. I did have a DeWalt that worked very well, uh, so no problem there. Now, let's switch to the screen view where we can take a closer look at some supporting documentation for this item. Now, here's the item that we are looking at, and this video is to really give us a little bit of a tour on how to find what we need to find in terms of associated information. Link below this video to the manufacturer's page will allow you to pull up not only all of the Templaco products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website, which is probably going to be handy. 
and then five pages of associated products from them. So if we're looking at doing, trying to find something a bit more garden variety in terms of the template. Okay, so here's something, well, that's, yeah, here, here's, here's a good example. Here's a nail on template for doing a strike, a full lip, uh, pardon me, it's a hinge with a 5 eighths radius. Um, now they indicate that this is used for um, this guide is used for all of their templates. In the Porter Cable realm, you definitely require a different guide and inch and a quarter diameter bit for doing a 5 eighths radius. See if we can search just by guide. Uh, so we are definitely not seeing, okay, here's the template guide. So we're dealing with the O1 and they have different template guides here. So without going through each of the templates, you're going to want to be sure that you are ordering the proper template guide because they have more than one. And I would simply refer to the template itself. TG Special Oversized Template Guide. I'm certainly tempted that this is going to be the one for a 4-inch router. but they don't tell us there, unfortunately. Router templates <clears throat> for hinge. Yeah, I was hoping this would be a little more elegant in terms of a search, but you'll want to be able to confirm that you are ordering the right size guide for your tool, naturally. And actually pulling back up that <clears throat> four inch with the 5 eighths radius, they do tell you that the TG1 is what you'll use <clears throat> for doing that. And the reason that it will work is because the Porter cable I had mentioned earlier, which had a much larger guide and then an inch and a quarter diameter um, router bit, is because they've actually curved that, whereas my Porter cable hinge butt template kit did not have radius corners. So you can follow along with your half inch router bit in your TG1 base, or guide I should say, and use a CB1 or a CB4 hinge mortising bit. One might be carbide and the other may not be. Let's... cutting tools. Yeah, okay, so... Um, yeah, I'm gonna say the CB1 is high-speed steel and the CB4... oh, it just has a bearing on it. So I'm say, gonna say that they're both high high-speed steel because they don't indicate carbide and here's a carbide unit here I would I would not even bother with high-speed steel um, don't even bother with it in my opinion I mean if you get one for free don't throw it out but <laughs> carbide's the way to go so that talks about how to work on this Templaco material so you're always looking for what guide do I need so if you're buying a template be sure you have the right guide and obviously be sure that you have the right uh, router bit as well. Okay, let's wrap up this video on camera. Now, in conclusion, if you're going to do any routing on doors and frames, you're going to need all of the equipment. This guide is part and parcel of all of the equipment. You just want to make sure that when you are ordering the material initially, if you've not done it, think of the template, the guide, and the router bit all together. Uh, so that you don't get part of it like I did and say, what happened? Luckily, my prep was too small and not too large. And that was because my, gu my guide was too large. The, you know, the diameter of the guide was too large for what I was working on, thankfully, which is why it was small all the way around. And I took it off the door and I says, well, that looks great, but a little small. And sure enough, and then I discovered it pretty quickly, tripped down to a hardware, not a hardware store, but a 
um, specialized woodworking uh, shop uh, that was in the neighborhood, re realistic, and they had it in stock, thankfully. Any questions on the Templaco TG-1 router base guide or any other Templaco product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please click subscribe as well and even share the video with someone that you know. And if you have any questions for a future video, please send them our way and we will make every attempt to oblige. And thank you very much.